In the last couple of segments about recruiting celebrities, I talked about how a good celebrity spokesperson has to have three things. They have to have credibility, capability, and motivation. In this segment, we're going to talk about motivation and specifically the one motivator that's at the top of the list, and that's money. A celebrity is usually paid when they are doing a for-profit appearance or a commercial endorsement deal, um, but sometimes they're also paid for non-profit types of experiences as well. For example, if you want somebody to do what they do for a living, like a performer, to perform, you will have to pay them even if you're a charity. The same goes for if you want someone to give a major keynote address. Anything that requires rehearsal time or a lot of preparation, expect to pay a celebrity. Because if you don't, if you think a celebrity should donate their time to you just because you're a nonprofit, well, that's kind of like asking a celebrity or so, uh, an attorney to represent you in court for free or an accountant to do your taxes for free. In the same way, asking a celebrity to perform for free is not quite right. So keep that in mind when you're going for a celebrity and you're a nonprofit, you might have to pay them as well. While money is in fact the top motivator for most celebrities, you know what, for superstars, it's not that important. Superstars are usually not that motivated by money. There are other things that usually get them to say yes. Because if, for example, you're Jim Carrey and you're making in excess of $20 million a movie, he's not going to be as motivated by money as somebody who's not quite making that much money. Oprah Winfrey has so much money, she does not have to worry about it. As a result, if you want to motivate Oprah to say yes to attending your event, there has to be something else going for you. So keep that in mind that money can be a motivator, but not necessarily for everybody.